The power of silence. How practicing silence will make you more successful. The power of silence refers to the capacity of the practice of being silent to strengthen self-discipline, heighten awareness, decrease stress and increase calmness and clarity of thought. In this video, we'll explain the concept of the power of silence, what it means, how it's achieved and the advantages or power it can bring to your everyday life. What are the advantages of being silent? To be silent means to be still. True silence means the silence of the body as well as of the mind. And during silence, everything comes to rest. Only your breathing continues. Practitioners of silence teach that many physical and mental health benefits stem from this practice. They describe the practice of silence as entering a sacred place within ourselves where the mind is freed from the endless cycle of thinking. Practitioners of silence believe that through this experience, we become calmer, wiser, nicer and healthier people, benefiting from the following advantages. Decreased blood pressure, decreased heart rate, decreased stress, increased focus of thought, increased clarity of thought, increased energy, increased awareness of what is going on increased ability to cope with what is going on, deeper, slower breathing, patience, a willingness to let go of control, a refreshed world view, decreased distress, tranquility. Do I need solitude to be silent? For centuries, people have used the habit of silence as a resting and renewal stop and as a time to learn and reflect. The pursuit of solitude went hand in hand with the need for silence, but there were times when solitude was not possible. The practice of silence, while easier to maintain in solitude, does not necessarily require it. In fact, the habit of maintaining silence during noisy interactions, such as conversation and argument, is equally fruitful. Experts in thought management, group management and leadership skills believe that the ability to use silence during transactions, for example, empowers participants by keeping tempers from flaring, preventing hasty decisions, adding emphasis to opinions and ideas, infusing negotiations with dignity and authority, increasing listening skills, increasing empathy with others leading to better, more creative solutions. How does being silent help you? The practice of silence can help us with a range of troubles. Most of these problems are small, but we always have them, and our ability to deal with them can fluctuate. Making the time to sit in silence allows contemplation of issues calmly and without the need to solve them. Relationship issues, trust issues, health problems, family conflict, decision-making, work or career troubles, bad habits, inability to move on. How can silence be powerful? Practitioners of silence claim that the new calmness, clarity of thought and willingness to let go of what cannot be changed are powerful experiences. The following advantages have all been described as having a powerful influence on lifestyle letting go of old, destructive or useless habits, learning to rest, being able to sleep again, the ability to be calm, being less bothered by what other people do, being less upset by what other people say or think about us, becoming more individual and more creative, being less driven and less motivated by profit or achievement. When should we be silent? The world is becoming increasingly noisy and there are very few, if any, opportunities when we are left in silence. This means that finding and practicing silence is even more important. A world where we cannot find silence is chaotic and not helpful to understanding, thoughtfulness or creative work. With the ability to be quiet and listen or to be silent and think, we can participate properly. We are increasingly left in situations where communication occurs at the expense of perception or at worse, understanding. This kind of communication is called advertising and we are increasingly at the mercy of it. 
constant collaboration and interaction without time to reflect occurs only at the expense of fresh and useful ideas. We can now communicate with or be reached by any number of people day and night. We are constantly plugged in. It is not surprising there is a new world interest in the healing properties of silence. It has never been more important to find control over our communication and thoughts. Why is it so hard to be silent? Being silent is a letting go of control, and that is not easy. Letting go means sitting back, listening and allowing whatever is going on. We do not interfere, comment, criticize or try to change anything. We sit in silence, just watch or listen. People who are habitually quiet are often overlooked as being uneventful sort of people, without energy, ideas or solutions. They often turn out to be the most resourceful and creative people amongst us. Sitting in silence can feel as though we're achieving nothing, sitting still, getting nowhere and falling behind. None of these feel conducive to progress or achievement. And meantime, the world is roaring at us to purchase things, read things, write things and keep up with everything, invest in things, begin new things, keep in touch, reach out to, stay in contact. Don't sit down, don't stay still, don't say nothing, have your say. Be confident, be loud, be vocal, don't sit back, don't ever get left behind. We must decide to practice silence and commit to it. This means to find a time and a place where we can sit alone with our thoughts for a little while. Practicing silence is in no way a permanent withdrawal from the world. Rather, it is a temporary pause in order to listen, rest and renew. When was the power of silence discovered? The need for both silence and solitude in order to keep our mental and physical health intact is an ancient recognition. The value of silence is very much associated with meditation, yoga and all spiritual health practices. Great thinkers, writers, artists, spiritualists over the centuries have considered silence as much more than the absence of noise. Instead, the power of silence is more of a discovery and a cultivation of all that is valuable within us. How do I practice being silent? The habit of silence is a simple commitment, but notoriously difficult to maintain. The practice of silence is also deeply personal. The choice of time and place and length of silence is completely up to you. Many people choose the morning for silence to begin the channeling of energy for the day. Others prefer to withdraw during the day, and other people practice silence during the evening. 1. Find a quiet place. 2. Sit comfortably. 3. Allow all thoughts. 4. Listen. Gradually extend the amount of time. Advocates say that the habit of being silent will extend to all parts of your life, including the most intense and busiest. Although the world is rarely silent, it is possible for us to find and maintain a space in our life where we can regularly practice silence. This way we can discover for ourselves the power of personal withdrawal and inner peace. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.